Hey everyone, Shaver1000 here. And Monkey! The Bruno, and we got a mid size SUV full of stuff. Mm -hmm. So, we're on a camping trip. Now, our plan today was to go to Fort Cooper and then leave there and come here, but I don't know if you can tell, nope. that didn't pan out. Nope. It's been raining all day long. We didn't want to get out there in Fort Cooper with a thousand dollar camera and have a rainstorm hit us. But we're going to do a couple reviews. Still going to be fun. We're still going to go to Fort Cooper. We just can't do it today. So, back out here at the river, the Whitlacoochee River. And we're going to go find a place to set up. We got something really cool, huh? Yep. A new item. A couple new items. So, that's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Alright, so stick around and after the intro, I'll kick you back on. Okay guys, so we found a spot. We wanted to be over there by the shelter. Yeah. They actually took over that whole shelter and it's supposed to be a community shelter. They got all their stuff in that shelter. Yeah. Supposed to be a community shelter. Now we were gonna back up in here, which looks pretty nice, but there are some roots here. And, you know, that's a pretty good sized tree. Uh, kind of worried about deadfalls. Um, so I think we're gonna go, we'll set the tent up right about here. Cause monkey's gotta leave later. But this really, really pisses me off here. Somebody done some work on their car. Not only did they leave their trash, spark plug box. That's an air filter. You know, don't worry about it. Shea Bear and Monkey will clean it up when they get here. Jeez, it pisses me off. You know, it's like, you know, if it would ever stop raining, I would want to cook in there, but, you know, what else did they do in that thing? So, I think I'm gonna set the tent up right here because tomorrow night I'm gonna do a solo. Tonight's me and Monkey's night. It's our Valentine camp out. I know it's early, but that's all right. Now, right over there through them trees is a hell of a nice spot, but it's kind of dished down and it's just muddy and swampy. But that's a nice spot back in there. Nice spot up there, but again, kind of muddy. It's a nice spot right over there, but as you can see, someone's got that one taken. And like I said, they've got that whole shelter for some reason. But, so I'm gonna put the tent up and uh, we'll go from there. I'll fast forward you through that so you don't get bored. I can find a place to set my camera up so it don't get wet. Hang tight, guys. Okay, guys. So, brand new tent, huh, Mama? Yep, brand new tent. But it does something special. Yes, it does something special. We're not going to tell you. Right. We're going to let you watch it. Right. And you'll see that here shortly. Right. Now, the instructions on this, which they tell you, before you order this in red letters mm -hmm. you know under the specifications and everything that it is in Chinese but it does have pictures it's pretty much a tent but if they looked at the bottom of that it probably gave it away yeah you probably did <laughs> it's okay <laughs> you probably just did I'm going fast forward I don't know what she's doing Now, should those look like that, being brand spanking new? I wouldn't think so. No. That's all right. I'll let them know. Back to setting up the tent. Wow.
But what I do like is these. Yes, those nice are really hefty nice. Hefty spikes. Yeah, they're nice, aren't they? She's filming too, so <laughs> nice hefty spikes. Yes. Monkey's going to explain it to you. What this does, it is a regular tent, but it also attaches to the SUV. So we keep this up, we put this on here, we're going to show you how it's done, and that way we can use it both ways. And um, can use it as a tent, or we're going to back, well, I guess I'll back the SUV up here in just a right. second. See, we want and, to use we wanted to have some oh. extra room so we can sit in here probably gonna have to take that off because when it's raining that'll kill me i'm sure raining all the time so every time we go camping it's freaking raining so this would give us a place to go sit to watch a movie in here to put our stuff that's in the back <sighs> of the car and put it in here oh no what look <laughs> Uh, oh no. Oh. So these got tied, got twisted when we were putting it up. Got in between the pole. So we'll have Great. to fix that. So, but check the other one. It's like inside. This one's alright. Whoops, sorry. I think this I wish it had great. reflective. Even after this the one's alright. You know, we can this one's all right. the tent if he wants to do a solo camping. And that's what he's going to do tomorrow night. Huge. He's going to do a solo camp by himself tomorrow night and there's in a hook this. Up there. Yeah. So, that's right. got a little Let me get you set up over here. Light. And I'll back the SUV up. And what I like is that we can unhook it because she's got to go check on her mom here in a little while. So. <laughs> Probably, and I got camera soap. All right, there it is, guys. I'm set up. Might pull that or something. Cute. 
The only thing is we got this antenna up here. I don't want to go over top of it because I don't want to poke a hole in that. But still, I don't know what's going to keep water from running down in there. But it does have a wall here. Oh, shit. She zipped me up. I'm going through. The... Anyway, there is a wall there that zips up. So. Yeah. Looks pretty roomy. I got to get these tied out. I might not even worry about them tonight unless it gets bad. Because mm -hmm. ain't nothing, nothing better than getting out in the middle of the night and strapping your tent down. I don't like the way that goes like that. No. <laughs> it's supposed to be waterproof, so we'll find out. Yep. Because I didn't... You know, I didn't waterproof it, so we're gonna find out. This is the urban side. So, that's for tomorrow night when she's not here. I don't have the car, so I brought a battery to run my electronics. All right. Well, there you go, Monk. Mm -hmm. Now, it's up to you to set up housekeeping. Yeah, There's I'm gonna go in. There's stuff down. Um, carabiners down here that you can reach up under but it's soaking wet I'm not laying on the ground and doing that but you can hook up under there too mm -hmm. so all right so I'll go here and take a gander at it now there was one we well the one we ordered that never shipped uh, that part, it didn't have a wall that zipped up. So what you did was you pulled it and you twisted it <laughs> and it looked like a big puckered up butt. And that bothered me. <laughs> and I was like, okay, so when we had to get this one, I'm like, okay, I'm good with that. So that's supposed to be seven and a half feet by 12 feet, but it doesn't look like no 12 feet to me, but I'm going to be sleeping in there tomorrow night. We're going to sleep in the truck tonight. So... I got a couple things I'm going to review. I don't know if I'm going to do it tonight because it's starting to get dark. And she's going to have to go check on her mom here shortly so I got to unfasten all this. This is how we got it hooked. There, I think you guys saw me seeing the doors on a couple of places I can hook inside there and then just close the door. And then right there on the wheel. Cool. All right, guys. We'll have to use it a couple times to get used to it, setting it up and everything, but um, they said two people, 10 minutes. So maybe once you get it set up, you know, but I like that, you know, we don't have to tear it clear down. The tent can stay up by itself. Okay, guys, time to try to start a fire here. What was the last thing you dried in the dryer? Was it sheets? Huh? Nothing. The last thing you dried in the dryer, what was it? Sheets and blankets? Yeah. Uh-oh. I can tell. Huh? Do you want to burn this? Not right at the moment. Might have to though. 
Okay guys, so as you can see we're building a fire. My uh, dryer lint is kind of flame resistant, <laughs> fire resistant, because the last thing that was dried in the dryer, I guess was sheets and blankets, so you know they're all flame resistant now. Whoops. I forgot my big light. I think I can get her going now. <clears throat> Whoops. There we go. Got a flame going, it looks like. Had a flame going. Yeah, that's not. Okay, let me try something else. Okay, let's try this again. I got some cardboard. Hear that crackling? That's a good sign. Means there's some wood burning there. All right, I got some more wood over here. That's got some tape on it. Let me get this going. I'll be back with you. All right, guys, we got the fire going. wasn't too bad. Once the once the boxes, a piece of that box that's over there on the table that the tent came in that tape that was on it helped we got her going I see a couple stars so I may cook on this we'll have to see I'll give it a shot I mean I may have to cook inside the tent I don't like doing that but oh, had you zoomed in okay <laughs> Yeah, cool. We got story time tonight. I got a story I've been wanting to save for Halloween. I might have talked about it last year, but I want to tell it tonight. It's a pretty good story. True story. Very interesting. Very spooky. So stick around. We're gonna. She's gonna go check on her mom here shortly, and I'm gonna start the supper, and I'll film some of that for you as soon as I get a light and everything hooked up. We'll be ready to go. So, Monkey said, hey, you know, I got these fire starters in here. You just block the light. You just block the light again. Got a whole pack of them. Yeah. I said, you know, already got a fire going. Yeah. Well, hmm. you might need them. Not tonight. I got a fire going. <laughs> right you there. You got this, too. Yep. Cool. Um, you did bring the cast iron pot, right? Nope. 
You want me to make stew, right? Oh, fuck. Yep. Well, I thought we weren't going to do that because of the rain and everything. I didn't say I wasn't going to. I said if I had to, I could still cook. But I forgot it. So I guess we're not doing that. I got that pan there. So you can just cook regular stuff, I guess. Got a battery light blinking. Okay. Okay, guys. So I figured while she was gone, she went to go check on her mom, by the way. I would go ahead and cut up some potatoes and stuff. Uh, we'll do the onion first. I don't know where the cutting board is. I think it's in that black bag in the tent. But... I said, ah, this will be all right. So, yeah, it says two people set that tent up in 10 minutes. And, um... Probably after we get used to it, that would probably be about right. You know, like I said, they they do tell you the instructions are in Chinese. They do tell you that, so. This is an Ozark trail knife from Walmart. You've seen it in many of my other videos. I've never sharpened this knife. And I just used it to baton wood when it's getting ready to build a fire. Look at that, it's going through that like butter. So hopefully the rain will hold off for us. Um, but I don't know about the wood. I thought I brought plenty of wood, but it was kind of dry because some of it was out there underneath the tree. And a couple of the oak pieces were under the overhang there at the back door of the garage so they were pretty dry but I don't think I brought enough I what I did was I put them in them coke boxes my empty coke boxes so that way we didn't have you know a big mess because we're gonna be sleeping in the truck tonight so I didn't want to have monkey have a big mess to have to clean up you know before she could even make the bed or, you know, put our beds in there. So, I put them in the boxes and I fit all I could fit in it. But, but at the same time, <laughs> it's not, it's not a lot. Okay, so we got our onions. I'm going to cook them. I'll get them cooked up while monkey's gone. Let's get some potatoes here. We're gonna make some beef stew, but I don't know. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do that or not. Whoa. See if she brings back the, the pot. <laughs> well, I didn't know you wanted to do it, I said. I said, well, yeah, because she was asking me, you're going to be able to, you know, to make the beef stew. I said, well, I don't know, but I said, if not, you know, I'll still be able to cook the meat. And uh, apparently she thought I meant I wasn't going to cook. I was like, well, as long as it's not raining. And yes, I'm leaving the skins on just the way they are. Everything's going to be fine. So I'm going to get these cut up. And then I'll bring you back when I put the uh, onions on the fire. 
there's a rock over here I want to get and prop that end up over there so because um, it's at an angle <laughs> You guys will never know the karate moves you have until you walk into a cobweb after dark. Make Bruce Lee look bad. Now I'm just gonna just gonna soften these up a little bit. This is all going to go in the uh, into the pot, so it'll cook later. I don't want I don't want to caramelize them. I just want to soften them up. So I'm going to do that, and then I'll be back with you. Okay, so that's about how I want it right there. So I'm going to take these off, and uh, I'm going to get the meat seasoned up. Okay, so I'm gonna prep the meat. This is just stew beef, stewed beef, stew beef, not beef tips. We used to use beef tips. They were so expensive, but man, them things are so tough anymore. You know, it's just. So I think what we're gonna do here. We've got some of this stuff. Boldak complete seasoning. There you go. I don't want my glasses on. Just going to season this all up. I got some um, garlic powder. I didn't bring any garlic salt or gar or I didn't bring any onion salt or onion powder because well we have onions over there. And we got some lemon pepper. I'm also going to be. I know it looks like a lot, but it's not. I'm also going to be putting some um, soy sauce in it. So and then I got some of this Argo cornstarch. I'm just going to roll that around. Roll the meat around in that. It'll get absorbed into the meat. And also, once you put the meat in with your stew, it'll thicken your stew up. So I'm gonna do that. I'm just gonna, you know, mix this stuff up real good. Yes, I know, you're not supposed to touch meat with your bare hands, but it's, it's okay, guys. It'll, it'll be all right, just me and Monkey. Bruno, well, Bruno won't get any. Uh, I might save him a couple pieces of meat. I don't know what she brought for him. So I'm gonna do that. Oops. I don't want to do that. <laughs> I'm going to put them in here. And I'm going to shake them up and get that all coated real good. And then I'm going to set them up here on one of these. This looks like a bigger one, so I'll use it. Let me get all, all this blood out of here first, of course. And then uh, get that wiped out. I'm just going to just kind of. Well, it didn't happen last time. All right, let me get this, uh, great. Let me get this wiped out. Last time it worked pretty good. Let me get this wiped out and cleaned up and then, um, and then I'll be back with you guys. All right, so I got that all cleaned off. Um, I had it in my smaller pot. <laughs> and I think that's where I went wrong. Then I, I might not have to add any more of this, but we'll have to see. Um, any more of this. Of, I'm going to cut some of these up too make them a little more I don't know we'll see we've got plenty here 
I probably won't have to add any more of this cornstarch because um, there's plenty on that meat to thicken that stew up once it starts cooking. I may have to, I brought my little hand saw, or not hand saw, but my little battery powered saw. And um, I may have to find a dead tree. Hopefully I can find a standing dead tree. Got this one Coke box over here that it's already that I was going to use for a trash can, but it's already 90% full of the garbage I had to clean out of the fire pit. All right, you get the idea. That's all I'm going to do. Just going to keep doing this until they're all coated. And then. I'll wait on Monkey to get back. Uh, she bought a couple bags of carrots. The little little carrots. I'm not even going to bother cutting them up. So I'm just going to keep doing this until she gets back. I don't know if that fire is going to be. I don't know. We'll have to see. Uh, just, you know, it always looks like more wood than what you have. Like, you know, they, they as they say, you know, the rule of thumb especially in survival, when you're gathering firewood, look at your pile. And when you think, yeah, I probably got enough for the night, make it five times bigger. And that's true. Because, you know, it might, weather might be fine now, but if the wind starts blowing, you're gonna go through more wood and stuff like that. I've explained that before, but. Okay, guys, let me get this finished up. Next time somebody uses this table, they're going to think I spilled my Coke. Okay, here we go. Put our meat in there. Uh oh. Bring me out the uh, the stuff, what stuff? the uh, broth, and the uh, soy sauce. Alright guys, hang on. Uh Do you have a big spoon? Big spoon for this stuff. All right, guys, there we go. Now I wanna throw a little bit of seasoning on top of that, put the lid on, see if I can find some wood to put under there. Okay, guys, so got it on here. It's starting to heat up. You see, there's a color missing orange yes. I forgot the carrots <laughs> I didn't forget them we have them I forgot to put them in and I even told you guys remember I'm not going to cut the carrots up I'm just going to dump them in well now there's no room for the carrots <laughs> and monkey said well you should have just put them in there while I was gone I didn't have the pan <laughs> <laughs> No, I forgot the pan. <laughs> so I had to go home and get it. Well, you went home to check your mom, and I said, "Well, bring the pan." But I didn't have, or I didn't have the pot. No, you didn't have the to pot. To do that, hun. <laughs> or this would have been done by the time you got back. That would have been nice. <laughs> I got some wood on there, though. We'll be all right. Once that burns down, I can put put it directly in the coals. Right. Jeez. <sighs> Never done and it's not like I forgot them at the house. No, they're here. <laughs> they're in the cooler. I could eat them. It's too 
too bad I ain't got no ranch. <laughs> I'd like to own a ranch. Yeah, I know you'd like a ranch. Five. I never see you. You'd be halfway and gone somewhere. Five acres of it would just be cars. Yeah. Old antique cars just to look at. You know? Yeah. Watch them right away. <laughs> Alright, guys. I let it rest for about 10 minutes. See how nice that thickened up? I didn't add any more cornstarch. That's just what I had the meat, had on the meat. That's how nice it thickened up. So we're going to scoop this out. We're going to scoop this out into a couple bowls. We're going to go into the tent. And I'll be back with you in just a minute. Oh, I'm going to save my story time until tomorrow. So, it should be, should be a lot of fun. What's the matter, Monk? Nothing. Why'd you go? <sighs> Content. Are you full? Yes, very. She didn't eat all her food. She still got four potatoes in there. Yeah, I'm full. <laughs> very hearty. It was good though. Very good. Wasn't it? Yep, it kept me warm. Yeah. That's our little fan light. Yeah. <laughs> That's handy. Mm-hmm. Hearing some weird stuff, huh? Some noises out of here. <laughs> I was telling her, okay, I got a story for you. But the main story is going to be tomorrow night. So, you know, she went to go check on her mom and stuff. And then, you know, when I was cutting everything up, you know, I moved the stuff over after I cut it up. When I shut you guys off, I went to go look for more wood. When I came back, there was a round rock sitting right there on that table. No joke. I, I I don't know about anyone else, but I've never seen a rock fall from a tree, so I don't know. It just there wasn't nobody around here. I didn't go that far away, so I just found that a little strange. Maybe it was there. I have to go over the footage. Maybe it was there and I didn't see it. Maybe. But I'm telling you, it was right there. But I'll you know I'll go over the footage and see. But yeah, that was a little bit on the odd side. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. You're hearing some weird things, aren't you? A little bit. <laughs> she said, they don't come out in the winter time, do they? I said, who? She said, Bigfoot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're out all the time. <laughs> oh. <laughs> We're okay. We'll be in the car. Well, if a bear can open the car door, can't Bigfoot? <laughs> they shut their generator off. So. Thank goodness. Well, you couldn't really hear it that much anyway. They had it way down by the river. Mm -hmm. The long extension cord. Yeah, so. I think they're a little bit. When consider. wind was blowing like this, you couldn't really hear it anyway. No. But they did shut it off, so. I think it's 10 or 11. You gotta have the. Um, what the heck was that? I don't know. Happened over here somewhere. Yeah, it's 20 minutes after 11, so... <clears throat> yeah, they, uh... They shut it off probably... At least a half an hour ago. Mm -hmm. So that's cool. I don't know what that noise was. I think it was a leaf that hit the tent. Sounded like it was in here. Well, it was... Back there. Maybe this tent's haunted. No, I don't think so. Could be, you know. I don't think Maybe so. one of the workers on the assembly line or whatever, <laughs> the sewing machine, you know, maybe got wrapped up in the sewing oh machine. Oh, my goodness. And got killed finishing this Imagination. tent up. Imagination. Let me finish. <laughs> and he, you know, he, he met his untimely demise just as he finished this tent and they sent it out to us. 
so. I don't think so. But, truck could be haunted, we don't know. Yeah, we don't. I don't know if you guys saw that video, but there was something moving around in this truck right after we got it. I seen it on the I put the clips up too. I seen it on the uh security camera. And it just disappeared. It was like somebody was sitting there. Uh -huh. I went out and looked and there wasn't nobody there. Uh -huh. That was weird. Yeah. That rain or wind? Wind. It's really windy. Uh, this thing ain't moving much. No. I don't have the guy open bar, but <laughs> I'll, I might put them out <coughs> if it's like this tomorrow. I yeah. might put them out because it won't be hooked to the truck. So. Right. And I'll be in it in here. So. Right. <laughs> I might put the guy wires out, but so far so good. Yep. Doesn't seem to leak. And you can stand straight up in here, so that's nice. So we can walk around. Yeah. So I'm gonna put the projection screen up, and we're gonna watch. What are we gonna watch, man? <coughs> no. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I've been sneezing a lot lately. I think I got allergies. What are we gonna watch? Bigfoot. We're gonna watch a Bigfoot documentary, huh? Yeah, Bigfoot. <clears throat> I got one from Les Stroud. Yeah. Where he's supposed to be down here in Florida. Or he's talking about Florida or something. So. Cool. It's one of his older ones. Uh-huh. <clears throat> yeah, so that should be pretty interesting. I can't show you guys. I'm sorry, but, you know, copyrighted stuff. Right. She, she'll watch about 10 minutes of it, and she'll be out. Yep. But I'm going to watch the whole thing, so. Yeah. Sorry I forgot the carrots. It's okay, it's fine. Hey, oh, we got I didn't mess them. Right there. I did not mess them. So. I did. Did you? Yeah. Aww. I told her, I said, well, look. I said, well, that's rusted. You know, I can put them in the frying pan and fry some up and we can put them in our bowls. She was like, no, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> I got to have everything perfect for her. <laughs> not for her, but I mean, for me, for her, you know. I just. <clears throat> All right, well, I'm going to put the projection screen up and. I'm guessing you're going to crawl up in there. Yeah, oh yeah. As soon as that pot cools down, we'll bring it in and put it in the front of the truck. Yeah. I or I probably will. I don't know, but you're not going to want to dump it outside. No. <laughs> bring the coons around and stuff. Coons running around. We'll figure something out. All right, guys, hang tight. This there we go. All right. I'm going to go get settled. Does the skunk ape live? Watch Bigfoot. You know, seeing one would be, again, it would reinforce your idea that you already have. Some people that maybe necessarily are haters or naysayers about the, about the topic. And what do you what do you kind of have to say to that? Well, first of all, uh, based on recent surveys, about 82% of the... Good morning, everyone. It's about 8.30 a.m. Threw some stuff on our little fire from last night. Took a hold. <laughs> Pretty cool. I don't know where Monkey went. She must have went for a walk. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, so I brought four movies on a little card that I downloaded. And uh, only two of them would work. Two of them said not supported files, so I must not have converted them. So when she goes home, check on her mom. 
I'm going to go home grab a couple movies because I'm going to be out here by myself tonight. So if it would start raining, it looks beautiful right now. It's, it's cold. It's chilly. It was nice and warm in there, though. In there last night. But, yeah, so if it would come up rain and I get pinned down in that tent, I'll have something to watch. So, yeah, pretty cool. So far, I like the tent. Got to use it a few times to see. Got to get a good rainstorm. It seemed to hold up to the wind. It was windy. Real windy last night, pretty bad. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, like I said, I don't know where she went. But, sometimes she takes a little morning walks. So, yeah. Bruno's in there. <laughs> so, all right, guys. Well, just want to tell you good morning. I'll be back with you in a minute. And like I said, I'll probably run to the house with her to get some more movies. I'm going to get some more wood because there's something I want to do later. So, yeah, pretty cool. Nice place. Somebody on a four-wheeler or something out here this morning about an hour ago just ripping up through here, man. You know, people come out here to get away from that stuff. I don't even know how they got in here. They're not camping here I know that <clears throat> there's nobody up there where we usually camp nobody and I think it's just us three here that camper there's that other camper over there and then us I think that's it so uh, I don't know all right guys I'll be back with you <laughs> oh bless her heart she did go for a walk she come <laughs> hobbling back here and said I found you a piece of wood. I'm sorry, that's all I could find. <laughs> that's it. All right. All the way, too. All the way. All the way. Okay, guys, this is the end of the first day, and I'm going to come back out and do my solo. She's stopping back out later. Well, she's going to drop me off and go back home, right? Yeah. And then. Um, and then she's gonna come back out later this evening. Yeah. Check on me. I found some goodies. She snuck into my bag for me. I she, always she do. brought she bought me these onion rings. It's a knockoff of Funyuns, but they're good. And uh, she said, You can't eat these until you're solo. Yeah. <laughs> and last night I was moving some stuff around in the tent and I noticed another little bag of goodies. <laughs> That was for today. <laughs> Tonight, okay. But yeah, it did all right. Yep. So what happened last night? What happened? The truck. Oh, it moved. Yeah. It was like weird because it was underneath the truck. And we were yeah, sleeping. But it, was, it was like this. Yeah. Just one time, like yeah. somebody pushed on it. I but that was it. Maybe an animal was going to pass through underneath or something. Not to move that thing. And I didn't move. He thought it was me moving because I moved constantly. Well, yeah, I, so I just thought it was her. Mm -mm. No. She says she, she, this morning she goes, "You feel the truck move last night?" I, was like, I thought it was you. <laughs> no. But yeah, it did pretty good, didn't it? Yeah. Yeah, I think so. I'm kind kind of happy with it. I got it tied down. I'm going to be back out here shortly, but. I got it tied down just in case, but it seemed to do all right, didn't it? Yeah, I, I found it quite warm in there. Like, it was nice. It was nice in there. Yeah, because it's cool and windy, and we didn't have the heat And on. that has seam tape on it, and it is ripstop nylon, so. Yeah, I think we'll get good use out of it. I really do. Even if we don't use always with the car, no, we can I use can... it as a regular tent. Yeah. And it'll be just fine, and there's lots of room in there. Yeah. Lots of room. Yep. So. Alright guys, so this is the end of day one. Yep. I'm gonna go home get some wood and some more movies for tonight. And then uh I'm gonna come back out. So a couple things I wanna show you. Mm -hmm. My little things that you got for me. Uh, yeah. So yeah. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Shea Bear the Myth the Man Legend. Go for now, stay tuned for day two. Day two. <laughs> Bye, guys.